This is one of the most exciting trends in the healthcare landscape. So first off, read this disclaimer carefully. We are talking about the ARC Genomic Revolution ETF. ARKG is the ticker. There are two key concepts that we need to just get down. First is, okay, genomics. So it is the study of whole genomes of organisms and incorporates elements from genetics. Genomics uses a combination of recombinant DNA, DNA sequencing methods and bioinformatics to sequence, assemble and analyze the structure and function of genomes. So basically we are figuring out the building blocks of uh, life. And this ties into another very interesting application of this knowledge and that is gene editing. From Britannica Encyclopedia, so gene editing, the ability to make highly specific changes in the DNA sequence of a living organism, essentially customizing its genetic makeup. Key among gene editing technologies is a molecular tool known as CRISPR, a powerful technology, so on and so forth. Okay, so the key thing here is that we are able to basically remove human disease and more, you also open up the ability to specifically select for certain very favorable traits like uh, higher intelligence, uh, very favorable personality factors, as an example, you know, being conscientious, stuff like that. So this is really, really, really fa fascinating stuff and it is in the early stages, meaning as an investment opportunity. This is really, really interesting, because the growth potential is tremendous. So here is the ARKJ ETF, weekly data points going all the way back here to, to this is October 2014. So we do have a 73% total gain within this time frame. If we do measure it from the low here, all the up, way up to the recent high, that's you know, around 150% gain in you know a four year time frame. That is really good. And even though we've seen this massive crash in the stock market, well, you can barely see it here. We had a pullback here and another pullback here to the red 200 week moving average. So if you look at this chart, you would be like, well, uh, I have no idea that there actually was a crash in the market. It's just, this one has just been doing its thing. And that is a testament to the strength of this trend. This is a very powerful trend. This is a mega trend. Where, where the companies in this, this ETF are today is minuscule compared to what, where they could be very likely in the future. So from a technical standpoint, this looks good. Uh, we are above all the key moving averages. The average to range, it does show us that there was a real spike in volatility. So there was a spike in volatility, but overall the trend is basically what, what it's been for quite some time. Though there is obviously more volatility here than we saw back here. That is reflected here in the average true range. When you look at statistical correlations, there is an 86% positive correlation with the S&P 500. That is rather strong. Uh, so that's just something you have to take into account. Notwithstanding this correlation, the behavior of this um, ETF is still rather different. So here you can see the spy. Okay, yeah. If you do it like this, then you can see the spy here reached the high, collapse, then a retracement. But this, you can see that the the genomics ETF is way closer to making a new all-time high. I mean, it is really close. While the S&P 500 is um, quite some distance away. Let's actually measure how close it is to a new all-time high from here to here. Hmm, that's, um, you know, 8.6%. That's, that's uh, doable. Let's look at the daily data points. So if you look at the dailies here, 
Yeah, we are above all the key moving averages. Um, the RSI is at 61, so we are not, we are not overbought yet. All in, all in all, this looks really, really good. And while I'm, I am generally, generally against going like against the trend, meaning if we do, for all intents and purposes, have a bear market, then I am not a huge fan of being bullish. However, I would be bullish for certain industries with tremendous growth potential, because when you buy dips in those industries, yes, you are buying dips on the way down, but still, where you are buying is a very low level to what the potential is. So that's something you always need to think about. What is the growth potential? So from a charting perspective, it looks really, really interesting. So let's uh, look a bit more at the ETF. So here's the Genomics Revolution ETF. Uh, it is, uh, has an expense ratio of 0.75%, but that's it. That is to be expected. Assets under management, 542 million US dollars. So there, there is some uh, interest here, but still this is... It still is in the very early stages. Average daily dollar volume, 9 million US dollars. 38 number of holdings. Uh, the weighted average market cap is 6 billion, so these companies are, are have some size to them. When we look at the price book ratio, it's 5.4 to 6. Uh, many value investors, they prefer the price book to be below 3. The problem with, you know, being too obsessed about, you know, finding value, is that that misses a very key psychological part of the market, because the charts, they reflect future expectations. Meaning, when you look at these mega trends, the, ch the, the chart will very quickly get ahead of the fundamentals. Meaning, if you are sitting on the sidelines waiting for some mega trend to get into the value zone, then uh, you might have to wait uh, very long. So here you can see uh, some of the composition the top 10 companies. Now let's look at some of the top 10s. So you have Editas Medicine. Editas Medicine is a leading genome editing company focused on translating the power and potential of the CRISPR genome editing system into a robust pipeline of medicines for people living with serious diseases around the world. Here is uh, one of the some of the things they are working on. Ocular diseases, blood diseases like sickle cell disease, and also cancer treatment. Develop, developing both autologous and allogenic engineered cell medicines for the treatment of solid tumors and blood cancers. Another is the CRISPR therapeutics. We are rapidly translating our specific, efficient and versatile CRISPR gene editing platform into therapies to treat hemoglobinophatis, I think that's blood diseases, cancer, diabetes, and other diseases. Then Invita. By harnessing the power of genetics and technology, we can make uh, medical genetics affordable and accessible for everyone, improving healthcare for billions of people. Then you have Lumina. Here you can see the, uh, the revenue. 3.3 billion US dollars in 2018. 7,300 uh, employees. Um, one of the big issues with gene editing and, you know, genomics uh, more broadly is that it's a politically sensitive topic. Because the key point of this technology is that you are deciding which genetic traits are favorable and good and which are unfavorable. Many, you know, compare that, you know, to fascism, Nazism and so on and so forth. The reality is that obviously there is some genes are simply more better to have than others. The gene for Huntington's disease is not a good thing to have. Hence, I don't think it is... I mean, I think it is morally repugnant to promote the maintenance of genetic diseases. That is the moral... Uh, that's the moral problem. 
I mean, those are the other ones who are in the wrong. The only moral thing is to increase fitness and health. So here are some, you know, basic pros and cons of gene editing. So pros, immunotherapies modify T cells to kill cancer cells. Who would argue against that? Cure genetic diseases. I mean, genetic diseases are can be extremely debilitating. They just are. Drug development, speed up drug discovery, improve crops. Now this ties into the GMO space, which is also rather you know, controversial. I do fully recognize the arguments of those on the cons side. So it's not like I am like all in, like wild about gene editing. I do think that we need to be careful because any technology can be used for good, but also for evil. So here are some of the cons. Ger germ lining, enhancing people. Well, I don't. I, I have a hard time seeing how enhancing people can be wrong. Bioweapons, modifying bacteria and viruses for biological warfare. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's obviously could become a problem. Reducing genetic diversity, ecological impact of gene drives. Then you have safety risk, off-target effects and imprecise edits. Of all the cons, this is the one I agree most with. I do think that we need to be really careful when it, when it comes to gene editing because the human organism and you know genetics more specifically, it is incredibly complicated because there are many interaction effects. If you change, change, change one gene, you're not necessarily just changing that one gene. There will be all kinds of side effects, interactions, left and right. I mean, it, it is a very complicated field. Hence, we should tread carefully. Having said that, I do think that the current political establishment is excessively conservative when it comes to genomics. The primary reason, as a matter of fact, it ties back to World War II. The idea of, of creating superhumans stronger, fitter, more attractive, healthier, more intelligent, so on and so forth, that it is viewed as an ideology an ideology that is in conflict with the current paradigm, which for all intents and purposes, it is rather, in some instances, the opposite. One of the major trends we have seen, especially, quite frankly, from the more extreme left, that's the glorification of, uh, of disease. and. Uh, or you have people who sugarcoat the, you know, diseases and you know, genetic conditions, which um, I think is quite uh, sinister. As you probably can tell, gene editing it will be a huge topic. It will become, it is controversial, and I think it will become even more controversial because many of the findings will be extremely politically incorrect. That will make it even more sensitive, but I think that long term it cannot be fought. The trend is in favor of gene editing. The genomic revolution, it will be victorious. I really think that. Hence, as an investment opportunity for the long term, I am extremely bullish. Will it be very volatile? Definitively a super hot topic, controversies left and right, I guarantee you that at the end of the day, genetics is a reality. We have not as much through gene editing, but through selective breeding, we have, we have turned wild wolves into hyper-intelligent dogs. So genetics, if pushed in certain directions, you will have results. Whatever you do, of course, you want to let the trend be your friend.